Now we will learn a little about, so we have seen what is hypoglycemia, what um, the epidemiological studies uh, have shown, uh, how do we define hypoglycemia and all these things. Now we will go to the counter regulation. So what are all the various signs and symptoms and the signs uh, physiology behind that counter regulation and what are the adverse effect of a uh, counter regulation also can happen. So, that is the fourth point that we are going to discuss. So, whenever the blood sugar decreases, the first thing that happen in our body is when there is a hypoglycemia, the insulin level comes down. So, which is very, very important. So, this is the first response that happens. So, this happens at the level of, uh, even at the level of uh, less than 90, 85 insulin production uh, is happening. So, this whenever the less insulin is happening, the glucagon level also increases. So, the two important thing, things are one is insulin as it decreases the counter regulatory hormone to insulin is glucagon. So, they work in a uh, seesaw manner. So, one comes down, the other goes up always like this. So, when the insulin comes down, the glucagon goes up. So, these are the two physiological hormones which, which happens immediately after hypoglycemia. The third thing is going to be the increase in the epinephrine. So, the epinephrine also increases as the third counter response to hypoglycemia. The growth hormone, cortisol or, and the decrease in the cognition which all happens at the later part of the hypoglycemia. So, the first few responses are decrease in the insulin, increase in the glucagon, increase in the epinephrine. So, this we need to understand. So, why, why, how this, how does this affect the hypoglycemia? So, there is a decrease in the insulin, there is a decrease in the insulin. When there is a decrease in the insulin, there is a compensatory mechanism which is increased uh, glucagon. So, uh, because of these two things, decrease in the insulin and increased glucagon, it, uh, the uh, increase in the glucagon is sensed by the liver and that ca causes increased glycogenolysis. So, the glycogen is getting broken down to produce more amount of uh, glucose. So, there is an increased glucose production. At the same time, this happens at the level of liver and uh, the uh, other receptors like uh, carotid body, uh, the gut and uh, various uh, hepatic vein, they also can sense there is a decrease in the amount of uh, sugars. So, when there, when it happens, uh, the signals of a decreased uh, sugar goes to the brain also and the brain is able to sense uh, the decrease in the sugar and as a counter response, there is an increased sympathoadrenal flow. And this increased, uh, through this increased sympathoadrenal flow, the adrenal medulla is also able to sense that there is a low sugar and there is an increased epinephrine. So, because of this uh, stimulus, low sugar uh, goes down to the CNS. So, there is an increased epinephrine, increased norepinephrine and increased acetylcholine. So, the cholinergic, uh, uh, the norepinephrine and uh, acetylcholine which, uh, gets secreted, uh, which gets secreted from the postganglionic receptors and the ep epinephrine which gets secreted from the uh, sympathoadrenal axis. Uh, so, uh, these three hormones, the increased epinephrine and increased norepinephrine and increased acetylcholine. So, norep norepinephrine, what will it do? Like, uh, it will cause increase in the palpitation, tremors and arousal, which we will sli slightly uh, later in two charts. Uh, the acetylcholine, because of the cholinergic symptoms, it will cause uh, sweating and uh, hunger and dryness, all these things. So, there is an increased neurogenic symptoms. So, because of this nor norepinephrine and uh, acetylcholine, there are increased neurogenic symptoms. And when there is an increase in the neurogenic symptoms, it makes the patients to consume the ingestion of carbohydrate. So, since the patient consumes more carbohydrate, the response is increase in the glucose. So, what does epinephrine do? Epinephrine acts on two ways. One is it acts on through the beta receptors whereby it is able to um, uh, make uh, more amount of uh, sugars and it acts on the alpha receptors also but predominant action is through the beta receptors which we will see slightly uh, later and uh, uh, 10 to 20 percent is con contributed through the alpha receptors also. So, because of the increased epinephrine there is a decrease in the amount of uh, uh, substrates uh, taken by the muscle. Uh, so, there is a decreased uh, glucose uh, clearance. At the same time, they are able to produce increase in the, because of the anaerobic metabolism, which we see in the metformin, this entire concept we will discuss also over there. There is an increased lactate, increased amino acid and increased glycerol. The alternate substrates are the, because of the anaerobic metabolism, the lactate and amino acids gets produced. So, they all become a substrate 
for the increase in the amount of so you have a increased substrate so because of the increased substrate there is a increased gluconeogenesis in turn which will cause uh, increased glucose production at the same time this uh, epinephrine causes the fat cells or so to cause decreased uh, glucose clearance. So, there is a decreased glucose clearance and which in turn causes uh, increase in the uh, glucose level. So, this is the mechanism like how, uh, why this uh, insulin and glucagon act by the uh, glycogenolysis and at the same time the epinephrine, norepinephrine and adrenaline uh, which gets uh, released. Uh, they, they cause through the various mechanisms that the substrate is getting increased. There is an cholinergic symptoms and uh, uh, neurogenic symptoms which cause ingestion of a carbohydrate. There is a uh, decreased glucose clearance which is happening through the alpha receptors. So, because of all these things, there is a increased glucose production. That is how the mechanism, the loop of hypoglycemia is counteracted by producing more glucose by insulin, glucagon and uh, epinephrine, norepinephrine and acetylcholine. So, as we said, uh, this this uh, initial part, the uh, this part, this initial response where the decrease in the insulin and the increase in the glucose.